Did you know that the battery chemistry you choose can make or break your entire DIY solar or backup system? Today, we're diving deep into two of the most popular lithium battery chemistries, lithium iron phosphate or LFP and nickel manganese cobalt or NMC. Which is safer? Which lasts longer? And which one should you choose for your off-grid solar or EV project? Let's find out. Choosing the right battery chemistry isn't just about cost, it's about long-term safety, efficiency, reliability, and performance. For DIYers, installers, and power users, understanding how LFP and NMC differ can help you make smarter, future-proof decisions. LFP stands for lithium iron phosphate. It uses iron phosphate and lithium in its cathode. NMC or nickel manganese cobalt combines those three metals in varying ratios to form the cathode. At the cell level, these chemistries influence voltage stability, energy density, thermal behavior, and safety. This is where NMC shines. NMC batteries typically have an energy density of 200-250 Wh kg, which means more power in a smaller space. LFP batteries range around 160-180 Wh kg. This matters a lot in electric vehicles where every kilogram counts, but in fixed installations like solar banks, weight and space aren't always deal breakers. LFP cells are champions of long life. They can last 3,000 to 7,000 cycles depending on usage and temperature. NMC cells usually hit 1,000 to 2,000 cycles before capacity starts to decline. That means if you cycle daily, LFP can easily last 10-15 years, while NMC might need replacing sooner. LFP batteries are known for being thermally and chemically stable. They resist overheating and have a very low risk of fire or explosion. NMC batteries are more prone to thermal runaway, a chain reaction that can lead to fires. That's why you'll see NMC packs with extra BMS protections and cooling systems. For DIYers, LFP offers peace of mind, especially in indoor installations. At first glance, LFP might seem more expensive per kWh, but when you factor in cycle life and safety, LFP often wins on cost per cycle. NMC might be cheaper up front but needs replacement sooner. Always calculate the levelized cost of storage over your system's lifetime, not just the sticker price. LFP is ideal for solar energy storage, RVs, marine applications and home backup power. NMC is better suited for electric vehicles, power tools and compact robotics. That said, even the EV market is shifting. Major automakers like Tesla, BYD, Ford and Rivian are now rolling out models with LFP batteries. Tesla now uses LFP for Model 3 and Model Y base variants. So LFP is no longer a niche solar-only chemistry, it's going mainstream. LFP contains no cobalt or nickel, both controversial for environmental and ethical mining concerns. NMC relies on cobalt, mostly mined under poor conditions in the Congo. Recyclability is still a challenge for both, but LFP is generally considered more environmentally friendly. So, here's the quick recap. LFP offers medium energy density but superior cycle life, very high safety, low cost per cycle, better environmental impact, and is ideal for solar, ESS, backup, and RV applications. In 2025 and beyond, LFP is becoming the battery of choice for long-term energy storage and everyday use, even in EVs. So which one do you prefer, LFP or NMC? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and check out our other videos on DIY solar and off-grid power. Thanks for watching Happy Greener World, where clean energy gets real.